Hi guys, welcome back, Nick Reeves here and this is the build of the two Ben Buckle novices. So in this video, um, or this part of the build series, uh, I'm starting to look at the tailplanes. The fuselages are all just about covered. Um, I've just got the hatches to cover on them. So now I need to look at the tail end. These two tailplanes, uh, they're made up of four parts. Five parts, I think. You've got the main tailplane itself, two leading edge sections, and two tips. So they're all glued up. Uh, this is how they came to me. My dad built these. Um, so basically, they just need sanding down, rounding off, um, lightly shaping. <coughs> the fin and rudder for both uh, is more or less the same. Came to me, as you can see, they've got tip. On each and then on the bottom of the rudder there's a strengthening piece um, those also need sanding grounding off on the leading edges um, just think about it as well in the box I've got two elevators or two strips that I'm going to uh, be making into the elevators rudder and elevators need beveled and then it's gonna be a case of getting the covering on so uh, I'll crack on and do the sanding and come back to you once I start doing the covering Okay, so since filming the last bit of video, a um, bit of time has passed, and I've made progress on the novices, but I've changed plan a little bit. Um, both airframes now have tailplanes fitted, fins fitted, and rudders ready to go on. Um, I made the decision to actually fit them uh, before covering, just because it was going to be easier, although the covering might be more difficult, it's going to be easier to get them all lined up and square and true. Um, so they're now both ready for covering. Um, they might need a little bit more light sanding before going on, um, but there's two airframes there ready for the covering. Um, the tailplanes are going to be the same colour as the wings, so red and yellow and then the fins and rudder are going to be the same colour as the fuselage, are you red in this case, blue in this one. Um, so next thing is I need to get on and do the covering on this end. <coughs> um, I always need to cover the hatches and figure out a way of restraining, uh, blah, blah, excuse me, restraining the, the hatches, making sure they don't fly off. Um, probably should use a couple of little magnets or something like that. And the other thing I've been looking at, I just had a quick look before I started filming this. My first novice that's still underneath the bench, still ready to go. I seem to remember I had a triple A four cell pack in the front for the receiver. Now, I haven't got one to hand, so I've got a uh, four cell AA pack. And it doesn't quite fit in the front. Um, and I can remember thinking to myself when I got the first one, if I ever build one of these again, make the front of the fuselage very slightly wider, only by a few millimetres, just to let the battery just slip in. Um, now, unfortunately, I didn't build these airframes, my dad did. Um, I suspect he didn't have the same thought as what I did, but it's not a major issue. I've just ordered a two new packs for these, and I think I've got everything else. I've got the receivers, I've got the servos, I've got switches down there, fuel tanks are in here and there's a little box of goodies um, that's good, that's an empty bag fuel tanks uh, I might have to get different bungs for these I can't remember if these are diesel proof, I don't think they are but I should have petrol bungs somewhere which are proof yeah, there's two up on the rack over there um, another Seemingly spare engine mount. Um, two spinners, which happen to be the right colour. No, they don't want black. But again, I should have a blue one knocking around somewhere. Um, got the bag of hardware for the push rods. Twin dowels. Threaded, threaded rods in here. And lastly in the box, it's out of shot. I've got the actual push rods. So really, these airframes are getting very close to being ready. Um, our club, 
is uh, in the area it has quite a big population of these novice airframes. Um, we achieved at one flying to have eight or more. I can't remember exactly how many it was. It was a few years ago now. If I remember, I'll put a link up here to the video of all of these flying. And if you can spot an orange and silver one, a predominantly orange one, um, that's mine. At the time, it was flying with a PAW, yeah, PAW one and a half CC. Um, and it went like a rocket. Uh, I was able to launch after most other people and get above them within seconds. Uh, but it's all good fun and it sounds great as well. So if you're wanting a, a very cheap, simple airplane, get yourselves one of these. Get a little diesel engine. Um, you love the smell. Easy enough to fly. All you do is transmitter, model, can of fuel. That's it. Um, when we're flying these, I normally just use that. That's my flight box. Tin of fuel, primer bottle, and a finger, finger flicker thingy, what's it? Um, so yeah, that's my flight box. Nothing more, nothing less. Simple as that. But anyway, I'll come to all that once we get down the line and ready to uh, fly the airplanes. So for now, I'm going to have to crack on and get these covered. Um, and in the next video, I'll be getting the hardware installed. So until then, I'll catch you later.